Central with Burt Barron on the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey. From politics to entertainment, from social issues to lifestyles, from newsmakers to pop culture, if it's Jersey, it's on Jersey Central with Burt Barron, 732-545-9282, or toll free at 888-545-9282. 837 back on Jersey Central on the new Talk Radio WCTC. Our need to know things uh, coming up a little bit later on in this 830 half hour. Joining me now on the Raritan Bay Medical Center Jersey Newsmaker Hotline. Let's say good morning to a member of the uh, board of directors of a group called Garden State German Shepherd Rescue. And let's find out what their mission is all about and uh, also some upcoming things that maybe you could be of assistance to them, I'm sure. Uh, let's welcome in our special guest uh, who was with us here today. Let's welcome Dina McCulka to WCTC. Good morning, Dina. It's Bert Barron. How are you? Good morning, Bert. How are you? Doing well. Thanks uh, for the time this morning. Uh, before we Thank talk about uh, specifically some events are coming up, I've never heard of Garden State German Shepherd Rescue. Uh, what do you guys do there? We are an all-volunteer 501c3 organization. Um, we are dedicated to the rescue, rehoming, and education of the public regarding the German Shepherd dog, which is you know, sometimes a misunderstood breed of dog, but a fabulous companion. Why would they be misunderstood, I'm wondering? Because I remember having one as a little kid, and it was a dog that was being trained as like a seeing-eye dog in, in Morristown. Yeah, and, they're, they're terrific for that. You know, they're, they're a working breed of dog, and I think some people maybe have some reservations or, or fears about German Shepherds um, that are, you know, largely unfounded. They're, they're just fabulous companion animals. Yeah, she was the best dog in the world. She flunked the course because she didn't stop at the sidewalk all the time, so they made her available for adoption. And my dad brought her home. She would bark if you were on the swing too loud. She would bark if you walked too close to the road. A great, great dog she was. I'll never forget her. Oh, that's an awesome. A lot of people have had that experience with German Shepherds. The best dogs they've ever had were German Shepherds. And uh, how many uh, dogs have you say the group uh, has helped over the years? Is it possibly uh, possible to put a number on it? It's it's well into the hundreds over the years. And in the past calendar year, it was probably close to about 60, and, and that was a, a banner year for wow. us. Yeah, they, we try to focus on the dogs that are really excellent family pets. We temperament test before we take them into the rescue. So it's it's a long process to, to make sure the dogs are safe and, and appropriate to be placed with families. Sure. And you mentioned the fact that this is an all-volunteer organization, just like you and everybody else there. You do it because for the love of it, because you care about the dogs and you want to see them get to those forever homes. And that's why you're willing to give your free time and volunteer your efforts, right? Absolutely. You know, it's 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 sad to see so many dogs abandoned in the shelters. So this is absolutely a labor of love for all of the volunteers. And there's so many that really dedicate so much time to the organization. Yeah, that's a great thing, too. Our guest is Dina Mikulka here this morning on WCTC as she is on the board of directors of Garden State German Shepherd Rescue. Uh, they do amazing uh, rescue work uh, for to rehome pets uh, here in New Jersey, which is is fantastic. Again, all volunteers run this thing. Uh, which I think is uh, is just great. A uh, special event coming up, Dina, that uh, you want to get the word out about? We have a tricky tray coming up on Saturday, September 26th at uh, the VFW Hall at 575 Journey Mill Road in Sayreville, New Jersey. Um, we have over 300 prizes, some really high-end, big prizes, and we would really like to encourage people to come out. You can get advanced tickets on our website, which is GardenStateGermanShepherdRescue.org. If you Google Garden State German Shepherd Rescue, you'll come right to it, and the cost of tickets is $15. Nice, and this is uh, right down the street from Starland Ballroom, right? Nice and easy to find. It's easy to find. It's centrally located, and we're a statewide organization. We have volunteers from all over the state and neighboring states. So, yeah, it's a central location, and we'd encourage people to come if they have the time. Good. What's the one big misunderstanding you think that people have about German shepherds? Do people think they're aggressive, they're nasty, they're this or that? What's the one big misconception that people have? That, that they're they're inherently aggressive, um, that they're, you know, you see the police dogs sometimes or German shepherds, and if you look at those, some of those old video reels and, you know, police dogs, but they're, they're, there's a lot of variation in the breed, and most of them are lovely family companions. So that tends to be the biggest misunderstanding. I have some people who cross the street when I walk with my German shepherd, which is absolutely unnecessary. Wow, okay. But, uh, but they're cops. They're good guys in those videos. Why would people be afraid of that, right? I don't know 
why. I don't know why. I don't know I don't why. Know. But they're, they're, they're good dogs, and they're, they do search and rescue, and it's not just, you know, it's certainly not an aggressive breed by nature. Yeah. What goes through people's heads sometimes, uh, Dina? I don't know. Is there a website okay. or a Facebook page uh, where people can find out more about you guys? We have a website, which is gsgsr.org, the organization's initials. And we also do have a Facebook page, and we, we have a lot of dogs um, both on the website and through the Facebook page. People can follow us and see what we're doing, the dogs that we're taking in, because we're temperament testing dogs all the time. Um, so, so we would encourage people to follow us on the Facebook page and visit the website. You can also buy tickets through the website. Good. Advance tickets are 15. All right, good. Well, I'm counting on my central New Jersey business-owning friends uh, to reach out to you and hopefully give you guys some nice items uh, for the event that's coming up. It's right in Sayreville. You're helping out central Jersey. So hopefully some people will come through with some nice uh, things there for you for the, uh, for the event that's coming up. But uh, good, to, good to talk to you this morning, Dina. All right. Thank you so much. All right. You have a great one. Thank you again you for your too. time. All right, take care. All right, my guest here on uh, Jersey Central.